What up, YouTube? Xavier Professor X back with another novel review. And this one's to that John Sanford, that chosen prey. And I'm giving this one the yellow light because it's eh to keep it 100. I mean, there are definitely some solid moments and elements within here. But outside of that, really not feeling the overall... Really not feeling a whole lot about this book as a whole overall. As the basic concept of this is basically Sanford paying homage to Lucas Davenport as a lover of women and such by doing an inverse of creating a villain that is obsessed with women. Now, don't get it twisted. Without Lucas Davenport and all the aggressive attributes he has attained, there are a lot of books in the Prey series that would have been staples in the game, you dig? Like, I'm not denying any of that. Now, in theory, you would think that this particular inverse that Sanford created sh would work, shouldn't it? Like, you have the author that can describe scenes and settings to the point where it's super complex, but at the same time, it's concise and easy to understand. These strengths of his should come together to create greatness. But yet, sadly, in practice, what you get are projects like this where you're not getting a quality surface level at all as he's trying to be so uber complex to the point where his complexity works against him nonetheless instead of for him in Chosen Prey. You would think that time is going to tell with all this, but when, you're, when you've are when you read books that he has done in the past, like Eyes of Prey, which was different for the time that it came out, that was instantaneously hot on the surface level. Surface level being the delivery, flow, pacing, and character development of that particular book. But yet, in Chosen Prey, <coughs> excuse me, but yet, in this Chosen Prey project gives you a whole bunch of boring fillers that fail to deliver to drive and propel the story. Like, to give you a very good example, take Lucas's personal life with Weather throughout the whole book, where she's talking about the possibility of her getting pregnant, wanting Lucas to get her pregnant and such, that all comes off as a big distraction from the story nonetheless. But let me describe to you the plot of what Chosen Prey is about. Chosen Prey is about the deputy chief by the name of Lucas Davenport, who has to play cat and mouse with a art history professor by the name of James Cater, who's obsessed with women, nonetheless, and draws sex sexually explicit pictures of them. And throughout the book, throughout the day and a half investigation, Lucas has to play cat and mouse with James Cater in order to find him. To make matters even more clear... What I would have done if I were John Sanford writing Chosen Prey is that I would have placed my own Spinner remix on one of the following two underrated films. The first film would be 8mm with Nicolas Cage. I'm not going to get too, too into the story of that one. You can check that one out uh, if you wish. That one is a very underrated film by Nicolas Cage. He could have easily done that. Or he could have put his own spin on the movie The Watcher with Keanu Reeves and James Spader about a killer who posts his picture to the public on his next intended victim and law enforcement by James Spader have only a day or a day to find the, the victim. He could have easily done that as well. But 
before I conclude this review, I'd like to take the time to read a comment discussion that I had with Miss Janie of the Bookworms Buddy. Shout out to you, Miss Janie. Uh, I really appreciate your book reviews and videos. Uh, this isn't to single you out by any means. This pinning of your comment is to make a point to all of the John Sanford haters who say, oh, his books have too much murder, they're too graphic, this, that, and the other. And her comment is as follows. Hey, Professor X, I did not continue with this series because I really did not like Lucas Davenport's character at all. I felt like he was a bit narcissistic, and I did not like that. I read books one and two and pretty much had enough. Great review, X. Uh, thank you for the comment, Miss Janie. Uh, I understand your argument as a female reviewer, but nonetheless, I have to play devil's advocate with your argument. The first thing I have to point out overall is that love him or hate him, you have to give Sanford credit where credit is due at the end of the day. Not only is he amazing with the English language, but he's able to poke so much content with these short scenes and chapters. And on top of that, he's able to not only take risk, but the right type of risk. So for those of you who aren't convinced that this is true, let's do a breakdown comparison between Jeffrey Deaver and John Sanford. You look at Jeffrey Deaver. He's able to put together a decent book with, with his particular skill set, but the thing that brings him down is his super dry, one-dimensional description. Now, you look, compare him to John Sanford. Sanford is way more complex with his description. He has a much better delivery, and he's more versatile with it as well. So that's what I have to say in response to all the Sanford haters. But overall, Chosen Prey is an average attempt by Sanford that could have been so much more. I mean, this book, which could have been a grand slam out of the park, happens to be nothing but a double. So that's my book review for all of you on Chosen Prey by John Sanford. Let me know what you think in the comments section below, what you thought of the book. Have you read it? It's Is it on your TBR shelf? Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know down in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and book reviews. I'm Savior Professor X. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and Black Friday. I wish you all very well. Be safe, and I'll, t and I'll see you in the next book review. Take care. Bye-bye.